so if you guys are new to my channel, every Thursday I post like a tea or a gossip kind of video, and today we're gonna see how they secretly view you, so this can be anybody um, in your mind that you think of, we're gonna see how they secretly view you, and we got three options today, so we're gonna start off with option one, what's this little guy's name, Forky. Forky is pile one. We have Darth Vader as pile two. Or Angelica as pile three. So if you want to pause the video and choose whichever little toy you feel most called to. And I'll see you guys at your pile. Bye Hi everyone. This is for everyone that chose pile one or forky. How cute. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to be seeing how, let's put them over there, how they secretly view you. So this could be just anyone that you're thinking about. And yeah, let's get started. So I did pre-pull the cards, and I am going to be putting the zodiac signs and initials on the screen, so that could be for you or this person. Uh, I'm definitely seeing strong cancer vibes, so I feel like this person, for some of you, <laughs> okay, just for a few of you, this could literally be your mom, or like a mother figure in your life for others this is someone that maybe gives off the energy of like a mother like they're warm nurturing inviting like very kind uh, they could also be very emotional okay this person may be emotional but like they try not to show that side of them uh, but how do they secretly view you? So, right away, we have two judgment cards in reverse. So, okay, this is how they view you, so it doesn't have to be how you actually are. <laughs> this is just their perspective. But this person could think that you're stubborn. Uh that you're really set in your ways, you don't like changing too much, or it takes you a while to change things. They may also feel like you don't like hearing other people's opinions on things, or it's like maybe you don't, you're not so good with criticism. Uh, you could even tend to get mad or upset with this person, like when they give you some kind of criticism or their opinion on something in your life. Uh, this person feels, views you as someone that is definitely working on your money. Uh, this person, for some of you, feels like what you're working on really isn't working out for you and maybe that's what they've been telling you to do is like get a different job or like change things up try something different but like you're not changing so they think you're just like set in your ways and you're not going to change for anyone or anything even if this thing is not working out for you like you're still going to stick with it there's definitely a big emphasis on money though so they could feel like you're very focused on your money. They could also feel like you're a bit greedy, like you don't like spending money. Or you could be the opposite, where you spend money on what they consider to be like the wrong things. Maybe you go out to eat a lot and you spend money on food. Or maybe you go to parties, you spend money on drinks, like... This person, for some reason, may, if this is like a mother figure or like a guardian or something, they're like very focused on your money for some reason. Maybe you're still living with them or this person could just be very greedy for some of you. Yeah, they, do, they also view you as someone that is not patient at all, like you rush into things. It's like you're either super slow and 
you take forever to do things or you're you're the complete opposite where you like rush into things and you don't think twice about it you're just like fuck it <laughs> this person views you as someone that can be a bit unstable again financially and emotionally like maybe you just uh follow what you're feeling that day you don't really have like a set routine you just do whatever you're feeling this person could also view you as being a little sneaky um, they feel that maybe you're not telling them the full story or the truth about what you're up to they feel like, yeah, they can't really trust you. They, they feel like they can't really trust you because, like, you change your mind so often. And something about, like, maybe you're just not opening up 100% to this person. This person, again, if this is, like, a parent or... Like a guardian, this person, like, keeps an eye on you. Someone, this is, like, someone that's very selfish. Like, this person wants your money or they want something from you and that's why they're always watching you. What else? Yeah, this person feels like you're kind of off in your own world they do enjoy talking to you they feel like you bring a lot of excitement but like <laughs> this person just does not know what you're up to half of the time for some of you maybe they don't even know how you make your money or what you do for a living they also feel like you're very guarded maybe guarded about things in your past like if they start bringing up people or like things that have happened to you in the past like you don't want to talk about it this person also <laughs> someone on here recently got a haircut they may not like your haircut that much <laughs> especially if it's like short if you got your haircut really short maybe even shaved your head like they miss your long hair. They also see that you're, you've gone through a lot, but I don't know, it's like they're kind of putting this energy like you need to hurry up onto you, like you need to stop taking so long to heal from the past and heal in general. Like this person, <laughs> This person that is secretly viewing you, I feel like, is stubborn. So that's why they're viewing you as being stubborn. It's because, like, they're seeing that side of them in you. <laughs> this person could also want a new beginning with you. Like, maybe they want to get to know you better, but they feel like you have to put your guard down or you have to be more stable for things to move forward with you too. Maybe again something about your job or your money that needs to be more stable with the ace of pentacles. You or this person could be waiting for like maybe a raise or something like that and they feel like once that happens you'll be okay but right now like <laughs> this person may either be all up in your business or maybe the opposite where they're kind of pulling back their energy because they they know that you need to figure th things out right now and yeah that's what i'm seeing for pile one hope that resonated for you guys if you're interested in a personal reading or one of my decks link is down below bye hello everyone this is for everyone that chose pile two or darth vader i wish it would focus you know could i move <laughs> okay so today we're gonna see let's put them over here the Buddha. <clears throat> Today we're going to see how they secretly view you, 
If you're new to my channel, every Thursday I post like a tea or gossipy kind of video. And this is our topic today, how they secretly view you. So this can be anyone on your mind. And I already pre-pulled the cards, so let's see. Oh, I'm also going to be putting the zodiac signs and initials on the screen, so this could be for you or them. <clears throat> Okay, there's something going on with my throat so for most of you I feel like this is like a, a friend that likes you more than a friend for others this could be someone that you're already with uh, that has feelings for you so how does how do they secretly view you okay this is just a friend this person definitely has feelings for you they're very attracted to you i was definitely picking up like a lot of sexual energy from this person this person has thought about sleeping with you and kissing you and just doing intimate things with you even if you two are just friends this person has also thought about marrying you or like having a big commitment with you maybe even just getting into a relationship with you This person, ooh, okay, there's someone on here. This person is your friend, but you're already dating someone else. So they know that that's not possible to date you because you're already with someone else. So this person, like, just watches you from afar. Uh, they secretly wish that <laughs> you would break up with this other person and date them. This person really loves your energy, they love your personality, they find you to be very smart, very loving towards them and people around you. <clears throat> I feel like you would be a really good parent if you do had kids. Uh, this person could have a dog as well or they thought about getting a dog with you. This person has definitely thought about the long term. but. There could be a block, again, maybe because you're with someone else, or for others of you. There could have been, like, like a fight. Maybe this is an ex that... No, I feel like you're talking to this person. For most of you, you're talking to this person. For others, like, maybe you're just separated at the moment, but they feel like... <laughs> oh, someone on here. This person could feel like you like getting in arguments with them because then, like, they chase you. So that could be how they secretly view you is like you starting ar arguments with them or fights with them. Um, they could think that you do that so, like, this person does like lose interest in you like you're always <laughs> changing things up even if it's not in like a positive way in this connection uh, for others this person could be acknowledging like you don't want to fight with them anymore or you don't you just don't want to deal with any shit anymore. Uh, they could, for some of them, they could even feel like you don't really want to deal with this person anymore. Like, you don't want to deal with them. Jeez, there's, this person finds you very attractive, though. They definitely really like your body. I feel like this is the type of person that <clears throat> may not show too much to you or even tell you how much they like you but this person has definitely like <laughs> planned out their future with you like they've visualized what it would look like with you even if you two haven't talked about it like this person has really thought about it they even thought maybe about you moving in or like you two buying a house like something just about you two getting together and like Creating some kind of stability together. 
This person also really loves talking to you. Yeah, down here we have, I'm going to reach out soon. So for most of you, again, I feel like you talk to this person. This person really wants to sleep with you. <laughs> uh, I feel like if you drink with this person, like if it's a friend, they might accidentally say something where you'll figure out that they like you more than a friend. This could have even actually happened. I don't feel like this person has anything bad to say about you. Like the first pile that I did, like there's some negative things, but with this one, I don't feel like there's anything negative. This person also feels like you're one of a kind, like they won't be able to find anyone else like you. This person feels like if they were able to date you or be with you, like, I heard they would marry you right away, <laughs> okay? So maybe they would marry you right away. <clears throat> this person could also be tall. Or you could be tall or taller than this person. They also know that you may not be aware of their true feelings. Or you are aware, but you're not aware to the extent of it. You're, like, you're not aware that they would want to marry you and, like, settle down with you and, like, grow old with you. This could even be like a friends with benefits, like it doesn't seem like this person wants that much, but they definitely do. With the magician card, they could definitely be trying to manifest you either back into their life or trying to manifest like you to having a more stable connection. <clears throat> and something about commitment. Uh, this person could also view you as someone that maybe has been in and out of their life a lot. So that's why they haven't been able to like settle down with you or really make a stable connection with you. Because maybe you keep changing your mind or you're dating other people or there's something going on with you. So they could feel like... Maybe you're not even focused on them, which I do feel like they get sad about that. I'm trying to see if I see anything else. This person, there's quite a few like fairy cards over here, so they could view you as like being an earth angel or just have an energy that's very light you could also have a lot of energy they feel like you have a lot of energy you're very positive uh you smell really good <laughs> you have nice skin you have a cute nose <laughs> this person just wants to list off everything that they really like about you um Also something about talking, like maybe you two don't talk that much. This person secretly wishes that you two would talk more or that you would talk more to them. They also wish that they'd bump into you somewhere if you both are separated. That's what I'm seeing for pile two. Hope that resonated for you guys. If you're interested in a personal reading or one of my decks, link is down below. Bye. Hello, this is for everyone that chose pile three or Angelica. I think that's her name. If I remember right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's some small ass writing. Okay, so today, if you guys are new to my channel, we're gonna see. Well, every Thursday we do like a tea or a gossipy kind of video. And today we're going to see how they secretly view you. So this could be anyone on your mind. And I did pre-pull the cards. And I'm going to be putting the zodiac signs and initials on the screen. So that could resonate for you or this person. 
and let's get started. <laughs> okay, when <laughs> I was shuffling the cards, I don't know, when I think of Angelica from Rugrats, like, she's a little crazy, so <laughs> this person I could secretly view you as maybe being a little crazy, but I feel like it's in a good way. Um, this person doesn't really know what to expect from you, like, Uh, you could tend to go in different directions, maybe in your career or just in life, like, you always have something new going on, or like, just, I feel like they don't even know what to say <laughs> when you tell them some things, or like, oh, I didn't, I didn't know you liked that, or I didn't know you were into doing that, um, you could have even recently told this person something about, like, your sexuality. Like, maybe you just came out that you were, like, bisexual or something like that. And you could have surprised this person and, like, oh, I did not know you were bisexual. <laughs> um, so, I'm also seeing that this person <clears throat> may view you as someone... This kind of reminds me of Pile 1, but they could view you as someone that's a bit guarded. But I feel like they understand why you're guarded. It's because you've been taken advantage of quite a lot in your life. There could have been uh, material harvest in reverse. Maybe someone stole your money or stole some kind of idea in the past. And so you like to keep things like on the down low. This energy, it's like sometimes you like to keep things on the down low. And then other times you like to be the complete opposite and like tell everyone about your ideas you may also tend to talk fast this person um, may notice that you talk fast when you get excited or you could just talk fast in general um, you could also have a lot of followers on social media uh, this person maybe wasn't expecting you to have that many followers or there's just something about like them not expecting something from you so maybe they weren't expecting you to be a certain way when they met you like maybe you were really shy when they met you and now you're like really outgoing and kind of kind of crazy <laughs> but again in a good way it's a good crazy like unexpected kind of crazy they feel like their life was kind of boring without you in it for some of you, this could even be your sibling, like, when they're around you, they feel like you always come up with really good ideas, you always bring a lot of energy when you're around, and when you're not around, like, maybe they don't have anything to do, they just sit around and watch TV. Uh, you could even maybe not live with this sibling, and, like, when you come visit, like, they get super excited. For someone, this could even be, like, your, your little sister or your little brother. Uh, but for others, uh, this could also be maybe someone you view as your soulmate or like a twin flame. Um, this person, yeah, they do acknowledge like, maybe you have water in your chart because like, some days you can be just the wife of the party and other days like you could be cold or moody it's almost like your moods kind of change with the wind um but i feel like they like that about you they like that you're not always maybe full of energy <laughs> they like that some days you're just chill maybe some days you just want to watch movies and other days like you want to go like a hundred mile hike or something I don't know <laughs> this person also secretly views you as someone who's very funny uh, you could have a lot of friends or you just they notice that you attract a lot of attention especially when you're in this fun goofy kind of mood uh, I do for some of you this person may in the past have gotten jealous over you so that could be why maybe you're not a hundred percent open maybe you're not a hundred percent open with this person 
uh, you only tell this person like certain things about yourself and once it gets to like more details on you you're like okay we're not gonna talk about that like they may notice that you cut things short or like you just don't like to talk about things that are too personal you keep it more surface level They also, for some of you, if this is like a sibling or like a friend, well, it could be anyone actually, they could think that, okay, how do I say it? They could think that you think that they're sneaky. So they're thinking that you think that they're sneaky for some reason. So maybe, this person has like, <clears throat> uh, I don't know, maybe stole something from you or lied to you or did something that you weren't really able to trust them 100%. So that's why they notice that you act not 100% open. Maybe when you get into like these more quieter moods or like when you're more laid back. Uh, you could even, or even when you get in a bad mood, like you don't like to show this person that you just keep to yourself or you don't talk about what's wrong to this person. So they don't know exactly everything that's going on with you. This person may feel like they tend to see the good side of you, but when it comes to the more, like, your difficulties, you don't share it. With these cards down here, we have inner child, kindness, vacation, make music. So someone on here could make music. They they feel like you're very uh, gifted with something. So maybe this is your job. Maybe you are good at playing guitar or some kind of instrument. They feel like you're really good with that. There could definitely be something with your hands that they feel like you're really good at. Maybe you're good at drawing or painting, or maybe you do Reiki. They also view you as someone that's very hardworking, and they feel like you have a lot going on in your life. Like, sometimes you don't take enough breaks for yourself. Uh, like, you just keep pushing yourself no matter what. They also view you as someone who's very helpful. With this inner child card, uh, you could even have like a stuffed bear or a stuffed animal from your childhood that you still sleep with. This person finds that cute. Um, but there's also another aspect where this person Sometimes it feels like you're too childish, like maybe you goof around too much, you have to be more serious. <laughs> or you're, someone on here, maybe you're not serious in serious situations, like you don't, you have a hard time dealing with like, I don't know, maybe like people passing away or like just tough situations, so you try and make light of it by like joking around. They, um, yeah, they feel like sometimes you shouldn't be doing that. This person definitely views you as someone just very kind, though. I, I'm hearing self-sacrificing, though, so they feel like sometimes you do, like, too much for other people, that you tend to neglect yourself at times. I don't know why I feel sad. This person could have also viewed you as someone that has gotten taken advantage of quite a few times. And I feel like they don't express, like, how they feel about that, or maybe they never have. Um, this person is definitely upset with things that have happened to you. I'm almost getting the vibe that this person may not involve themselves in your life too much, or maybe you push this person away, so they just kind of on the outside, or at least they feel like they are. This person definitely loves hanging out with you. They definitely watch your social media. There's some, 
there's like a hint of jealousy so if you got really popular by something or you made a lot of money or I don't know if there's something that was really good that happened to you I feel like this person may have went through a phase where they got jealous of it I feel like this person's getting out of that now Anyhow, that's what I'm seeing for Pile 3. Hope that resonated for you guys. If you're interested in a personal reading or one of my decks, link is down below. Bye, guys.